How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just hey. keep your eyes hey. open. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? The place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. And no money yet, it seems. I hope you know where that is, at least. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. <laughs> we'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make huh? sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. up the pace a bit apparently there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west I imagine that's where they're headed
they've stopped. All right. Let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen? So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Ah! quietly if we can leave it to me gentlemen i'll go around and create a distraction then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them okay crouch down out of sight take out your knife wait let's get in the river wait until he's got them off guard before crossing Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen, gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't, I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, Lindo, those boots you got there, eh? Who's the guy you got them from? Is he alive still? Come on, focus. Oh. We're gonna have to shoot our way up there!
The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Let's take these igueputas! Somebody shoot that three goddamn army! All these bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Sean. You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. You know, nothing means more to me than this gang, the bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. <sighs> but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Yep.
Just wanted to say, I know you bastards Arthur. miss me. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Do you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Gray? And don't you worry, Mr. Grimshaw, you old crone. So come I'll on. keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, dead eye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have Your fellow countryman fun. returns. <laughs> Apparently. Well, enjoy. <laughs> A classic Sean McGuire speech. Yes, he's definitely back. We needed a reason to celebrate. I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, Forgive me, Miss Grimshaw. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. It's stupid. So, what now? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I trust. Oh, let him Listen, my friend. <laughs> He's been Do you know the Louis Sean will Louis make your life hell when he finds out you're an O'Driscoll. Oh, great. <laughs> Just be grateful you're alive. It was diddle 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 on the day. I put my hand upon her toe. Mark well what I do say. She says just make me a right low for the diddle 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 all day. I put my finger on her knee. Mark well what I do say. She says just make me a right low for the diddle 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 all day. I put my arm around her waist. Mark well what I do say. She, she said, said you made your really really great 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 taste for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her thigh. Mark well, well what I do say. She says she did it pretty nice. I put my hand upon her ass. Mark well what I do say. She says she did it pretty nice. I put my hand upon her ass. all the day. And we diddle diddle did too. <laughs> Just dreaming of leaving, and and then they left, and then they jumped back in again. Stupid. You know what? That, that taught me something, and 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 it taught me something I will never forget. And that's that most fellas are sheep. That's right. So you got and, your buddy back. And if you can tell the, the same difference without. between a no, nope. the difference between a sheep and. A, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you, you, well, you, the, you, that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words, all of you, mark my words. Stupid army. Sheep. Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? Hello! Hello! What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Okay, well, let's talk more later. You got it, Mr. Morgan.
You okay, Jack? I missed Uncle Sean. Yeah, it's good to have him back. Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Okay, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> <laughs>